right then, I've just got set up. I'm in Lightning Swim. Um, this, I think this is a part two of me uh, video diary. And uh, we'll see what the night brings, eh? I've seen a, uh, seen a fish. So, uh, see what happens and see what the night brings. As you can probably hear, the ducks are going to be fun tonight, I think. Playing it a bit cagey tonight, so uh, we'll see if anything happens. I'll see you later. Just coming up to, uh, I think it's about half past four, quarter to five. Look at that sky, it's going to be a cold one tonight. Sometimes it'll uh, make the carp have a quick feed, so you never know. What a picture. As you can hear from the ducks. They like that all the time. I think it's going to be a cold one. Morning. Hello. I just took a few pictures. Uh, second, uh, second part of my winter uh, diary. Um, first night last night, found myself a lovely common, 36 pound three ounces. And I've got it ready to show you. Oh, so it should be out. What a beast. Other ones to squid again. Uh, Fang X hook. Basically, got here, got set up just before dark. And uh, just before dark, peppered the spot with about 50 baits. And uh, Basically put three rigs amongst it, simple as that. Uh, I'll bait with that out the boat today. So I just fancied keeping it quiet. And to be honest, it paid off, didn't it? Oh, what a stunner. £36 pound per ounce. I think this one's called the Big Common. What can I say? <laughs> Keep coming. Getting closer to that 100 mark now. And uh, just for the record, the date's uh, 20th of uh, November. So uh, I'll get it back and uh, we'll have a chat a bit later on. Cheers, lads. again for me uh, second diary piece. Uh, just give me a second, I wish some ducks had just shut up. <laughs> right then, back again for me next diary piece. Uh, it's, what's the date? The 20th of November? 21st of November I think it is. And uh, yeah, I got down here last night and um, had a quick look about on the far bank over over that side there, which you can just about make out, and because uh, that's 
Cop oxide. Had a, had a quick skate and uh, I think 10 minutes, 5 minutes, uh, I was looking down this end and a car took its nose out so I thought that'll do. So I pulled all my gear in the boat, headed down here. It was a busy weekend last weekend, this peg had been fixed, but it uh, didn't put me off too much to be honest. So I uh, trundled across here and I thought well if the fish are here I'd rather not uh, scare them to death with uh, going out in the boat, sticking marker floats out, baiting up. So I set all my rods up at about 60, 65 yards. Uh, two, uh, two hooks in the bench, wrapping the, wrapping the line round. Uh, what is it, eight times round? That's like 24 foot. So 12 foot long, go round a complete turn. That's one. Go round like that eight times. I think that's 64, 64 yards thereabouts. So uh, yeah, I set it all up at that and uh, put the first one out, got me a little bit of foam nuggets, popped to the surface, peppered it with uh, about 50, 50 baits. Uh, you know, not going too mad, but put a little bit out there because I've got a couple of free nights. And uh, so I got one on the, on the main part of the bait and off the other sides, got the other two rods, just kept it really simple, not, nothing much to scare them too much. And uh, five o'clock this morning, I think it was, uh, rod, bit of a funny take, bobbin lifted up, back down again, I thought it was a bit of a liner, jumped out of the bed. Uh, just, just on my way to the rod, just having a look, and it just pulled up, popped out of the clip, and uh, obviously started ripping line off my spool. So hit into it and uh, yeah what can I say <laughs> it uh, gave me a bit of a singing merry old dance it did to be honest uh, took me pretty much all over the all over my end of the lake uh, ended up down this side uh, there's a couple of reeds and um, yeah it nearly went beyond the reeds and then for some reason it didn't and it just kept boiling in front and then Bring it back, bring it back. Obviously, it was dark. Um, really, really exciting stuff. And uh, you know, you could hear it rolling, and you could tell it was a big, big fish. Like, so I've, uh, I've had it rolling just there. I can't, obviously, can't see. It's pitch black. It's like misty, really low cloud. Uh, the odd bit of rain all through last night as well. And uh, literally, I, I hear him going. <laughs> Like this, probably 10 yards in front of me, and I'll just give it a flick with the head towards the so I could actually see where it was. And uh, I've literally held my breath, popped the net right under the water, and as soon as I just felt it touch the back of the net and lifted it up, and he's mine. He's gone 30, 36 pounds, 3 ounce, uh, big, uh, big common in So, uh, yeah, well shucks, what a result. First, first night in as well. So, uh, yeah, sometimes, it can, you know, it can be that simple, but, uh, you know, like, um, today, I've put a bit, put, I do put the marker out today, to be honest, I put the marker out, and uh, peppered it with a throwing stick, I was going to go out in the boat, actually, and bait up, and then I thought, well, I'd probably be a bit daft to, to what happened last night, night, so, put the marker out, out in the middle this time, and uh, same range obviously and, uh, and I peppered probably oh, I think it was about 30 black monster squid at it with a throwing stick and kept it as tight around the float as I can so I've got like an area where the bait is and I could fish rods off it and I've got oh, obviously one rod right on the money so I've uh, yeah it's you know it's, it's worth my treat and to be honest I've got using the black I am feeding the red as well, but I'm using the black because it's it's coming to that time of the year. The fish seems to be scaring off the patches of bait a bit. You can catch them a bit more off the edge. So I've uh, gone for the black, and they'll smell it, but obviously it's not in the face, and you know it's not going to stand stand out as much. So hopefully, just get them creeping around a bit, and uh, you know, and obviously me, me up bait is a bit brighter. So I've, uh, you know, they'll come in and find that and hopefully it'll be like one of the first 
first again. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's how the session's going so far. I've seen a couple more fish this morning, to be honest, in the area, so looking forward to maybe another run tonight. But it's still no bites in the day for some reason at the moment, so it's got a chance as it gets colder that the fish will start feeding in the day as the sun war you know, warms it up in the daytime, goes frosty cold at night. The fish are going to want to be moving around when it's really a lot warmer. And it, to be honest, I broke my thermometer last week, and it was 11 degrees. <laughs> and I brought another one. I tested, you know, and this was uh, my last session was about nine days ago, that type of thing. And I tested the water temperature this session, and it's eight and a half. So it's definitely dropping, dropping like the clappers. To be honest, you think, well, it's dropped. Uh, what's that? Two, two and a half degrees thereabouts um, in nine days. You know, it's absolutely madness to be honest. So I'm surprised there's anything feeding at all because that's really, you know, big drop in temperature. But uh, yeah, they're moving. So if they're moving, they'll feed. Morning. Right then, uh, completely freaky weather last night. Uh, started off with a frost, came out about 11, 12 o'clock last night. And the mat and everything was uh, on the cart cradle and the bucket lids were white over with frost. Uh, three o'clock this morning, absolutely blowing a gale and it's changed again now, it's gone mild. So absolutely freaky weather. Uh, managed another smaller sample last night. Uh, was easier, what is it was the 1712 and the uh, 36. So I've got to pack up now. Um, I've got the sand down show tomorrow. Well, I'll set them up tomorrow. So we're all uh, ready for the weekend. So looking forward to that. And uh, to be honest, to what I've noticed this season, um, when you start picking up the smaller fish, it's, it's almost like they're, they're left over by the shoal, just clearing up the areas. So uh, I, I got the feeling after that, uh, having the bigger lump, um, I think the shoal has pretty much moved on and, uh, and I've been left with the dregs because uh, I've had that before. The, uh, if you go into a peg and you, and you start off by catching a couple of little ones, you usually fine. You know, I'd be catching little ones and they don't get that much bigger unless you're lucky enough for the shoal to drift in on you. But um, it's, yeah, it was a good session. Enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. I've had an absolutely cracking comment. So uh, hopefully, uh, we'll see what next time brings. And uh, back in back in structure on the old mini So uh, yeah, really enjoyed it. So uh, hopefully, I'll see you next time. Cheers.